Hello, it's Steve White, formerly Stephen Carter uh, of Steve Arts 89. Um, I finally got my copy of Madonna the day I was there. Um, this, of course, is very special to me because I'm actually in it. Um, and I've got a lot of Madonna books on my bookshelf, but none that I actually had any part of. Um, so this is really nice. Um, Basically, a while ago, a friend of mine contacted me to say that someone was making a book about Madonna and they were including fan experiences for the concerts and they wanted um, people to send in stories and um, she wanted me to. So I forgot all about it <laughs> um, and COVID happened and then I got a reminder at the last minute um, from Jenny, um, Jenny Cooks, who was the editor, um, and... I thought, oh crap. Um, so I had I went to four Rebel Heart concerts and I um, got into the uh, Tears of the Clown show. So I kind of had five experiences, six if you count the first sort of little experience I had. Um, and I, I wrote them up separately because I was just hoping one would get in because I thought what the book would be was um, just like picture, fan pictures and then little... Um, little bits where people would say, you know, I, I went to the concert and this happened, I went to the concert, I saw her here, and then have pictures and stuff like that. So I thought it would be very sort of photo heavy, just little anecdotes and stuff like that. So I thought, well, maybe one will, maybe one will get in. So I sent in like six. Um, and then I heard from back from them and they were going to use all of them. So I was like, oh, crap. Because um, I want to explain this. Not that anyone's going to care, but just for my own... Um, yeah, perfectionism. Um, so I thought, oh, I had included sort of some parts about not seeing the girly show and having to wait 23 years. There's 23 years between the girly show and um, the Rebel Heart tour. So Australian fans didn't see her for 23 years. And they were a bit repetitious. So I said, could I just rewrite those because I wasn't expecting them to all go in. So I went and I rewrote them all and I had like, all six, my, my Madonna Experience 1, my Madonna Experience 2, my Madonna Experience 3, had them all separate because I thought they were still going to go in separately and I'd just be sort of in between other fans um, chronologically. And then um, <laughs> when I actually got the book and looked at it, because I didn't know this was going to happen, and I bet I can't find it now because I need to. Okay, there it is. Um, they included it all together as... Um, just two pages, almost of solid text. There's, and I got five pages. I was like, five pages. I mean, I know I'm not special, but I feel special. Um, it's half of this page, where I was there, Stephen Carter, because that was my name. Um, I, I changed my last name to Stephen White. My, my last name to White because it was my mother's maiden name, and um, I wanted to separate myself from my father. Um, so I did that. So most people have known me as Stephen. Carter. It's only been the last three or four years I've been Stephen White. And I don't know why I gave them that name. Clearly I did because how else would they have it? But I don't know why I didn't use Stephen White. But um, so it starts off on that page and then there's two pages of photos which are all mine. They use them all because with each email originally I sent a bunch of photos as well that sort of related to the story because I sent a separate email with photos for each experience I had hoping they'd get one of them. Because I didn't think they'd sort of have time to go through, and I didn't think I'd actually be included. So, um, and they asked, "Oh, can we use the photos?" I said, "Well, yeah, of course." And they said, "Can you tell us who's in them?" And I sent them last minute, and this was very last minute. This is a week or two before they're going to be printed, um, or even shorter. I think the final email was closer than that. I sent um, a PDF, and I had all the photos. I sent them with basically a description of who was in them and what was happening in each of them, just in case they wanted to use any of them. And I don't know if they didn't get it in time, because I took too long, because it was in the middle of COVID, I was going through a lot, and I wasn't really functioning very well. The fact I managed to get it all written and sent in and respond to the person, I've been fairly impressed with myself with, because <laughs> I was not handling um, the situation well at that time. But um, yeah, so there's two pages there. And then... Um, just pretty much two pages of straight text. And the problem with that is I wasn't envisioning it being read as just one piece. So it kind of jumps around and is, it doesn't appear very well written because it was written as separate parts that I was expecting to be separate originally. And then um, 
changed again because I thought they were going to be all included but still separate and with other people's stories in between them and that. So um, I'm a bit self-conscious about that because people read that and not know and just think this person is not very good at um, coordinating their thoughts or their chronology. <laughs> but um, it's really amazing um, to have like a book and like my, what I'm talking, like what my, my experience is in there. Um, and like I said, I know I'm not special, but I feel special right now. And I'm really happy because, I don't know, I was, always wanted to have a book that I, I was in. And there's pictures of me. <laughs> pictures of me. There's pictures of me riding um, Madonna's tricycle that she rode onto the stage in the Tears of a Clown show and um, the Rebel Heart concert as well. She rode onto the Heart stage. And I don't know if she used the same tricycle for the, um, the other charity fundraiser that she did um, afterwards, where she did the clown act. Um, there's a picture of me with one of the, um, one of the, one of the minotaurs, and that's an actual outfit that, um, there was two of them, people bought the actual outfits, and there's Madonna on stage, uh, Madonna at the Tears of a Clown show with, um, Israel holding the microphone for her, I was right behind them, pretty much, um, various unapologetic pictures, some of her dances, my friend Jenny, which is right down there, but she's got lots of pictures in the book, everyone will know Jenny anyway, um, and on stage with um, her on stage with Tears of a Clown and Rebel Heart and when she was singing to Molly because um, I was right there for that and um, of course um, Matt and um, oh my god I'm forgetting her name um, from Madonna Australia um, oh how can I forget her name I, I'm not doing this on purpose I'm not being rude oh Nicole, Nicole, God, I haven't known this person for years, um, and um, even a uh, photo of me and her boyfriend when I was talking to him, um, and my favourite photo, the dead centre, right in front centre of Madonna performing right in front of me, it was amazing, um, I wish that got a whole page on its own, I think it's a brilliant photo, but um, it's probably, probably too central, too basic, I don't know. Not artistic enough, it's not from an interesting angle or anything, it's just dead centre, perfectly centred, because I'm like, I'm in the centre, the centre, front centre, Madonna, front centre, like, dream come true. Never thought I'd ever see her live, because, um, like I said, I'm, I was too young to see her at the Girlie Show in 993, and um, it was 23 years before she came back, and I thought she was going to come back a bunch of times, twice I think they planned to, um, Confessions and... Um, MDNA, I heard she, they, they were literally planning it and it was in the works and it got cancelled like into the planning stage, like they had pricing and tickets and all sort of stuff, but um, got cancelled last minute. And I just thought I was never going to see it because I'd said, I'm not travelling for her, it's too difficult, it's too expensive, um, and I, I, you know, I, I don't know how I would manage to get a really good seat and have a good experience because I'd be travelling and new places and I just thought, I want to see her in Australia. My dream was she would come here and I would see her here and I would see her at the front. I'd be front, centre and um, she'd perform, it'd be amazing and the last song she'd do would be Holiday and I'd be at the last concert and see the last, you know, performance of her performing that song for the tour and that's what happened and it was amazing. Um, and Tears of Clown, I didn't get tickets. Um, I had a friend screw me over um, who said they would give me give me their tickets they had too, and then they didn't. Um, but I went to the theatre anyway because I thought I might see her go in or something. And I met these amazing people, and we connected because we we're all Madonna super fans. We loved her, um, and they got me into the concert. So um, I got in last minute, like five minutes before she came on stage, which was like at twelve or one o'clock or something at night. So I'd been there for hours, um, like four hours, and um, it was amazing. I ended up at the back. And by the end of the concert, I was there was a couple in front of me, and then there was Israel holding the microphone for Madonna. So that's how close I got for the last song, for Hol which was Holiday as well. So I saw her perform Holiday as the last song of a concert for like five concerts. So um, you know, dreams come true. And this is amazing to have. Um, I collect books and things, and I've got a whole I've got a whole bunch of Madonna and Marilyn and stuff like that. So to have a book that has my experience in it and my photos. Um, is amazing and I'm going to cherish it forever and I just wanted to do a video about it so it's, it's a good book it's not just um, 
So the other thing, I I did a um, video where I just looked through like every page, sort of like um, an unboxing, like an overview, of, just so people can see what's in it. But I'm not holding it long enough that people can read the pages because I'm flicking through and it's not focused. So it's not like, I'm not like, you know, letting anyone get a free read or anything, but just so you can see what's in it. And what surprised me was um, a lot of it was... Um, um, just experiences people had with Madonna and there's actually quite a lot of pages that it's just all text and I thought it would be more pictures and just little anecdotes but there actually is a bit more um, in-depth sort of looking at Madonna and her performances and just people's experiences with her and how she works and stuff. I haven't read it all, I've just read little bits but um, I just wanted to um, share it. I just wanted to do a little video saying just about it, that I love it. <laughs> I'm in it, I'm happy. It's like yay! Um, next to like being in like a gay film, which I managed to do as an extra, I'm in like two scenes, you can, like that small, and I get a shot like, like a, a mid shot for like half a second, but I saw myself on screen in, the, in a theatre in a gay film, um, a movie, that was a little dream. I wanted to walk in Mardi Gras and see myself in the um, performance, I did that as well, and it's so cool because it was the year Madonna got pulled off. Um, the stage for, during Living for Love, and they're talking about Madonna, and then they cut back to the, the the parade, and the next shot when they cut is me standing there with um, the guy I was with, and he's like leading me on a collar and um, on a lead, and I noticed the dot, the light go on, and I'm like, the camera just came on, so I, so so it's just hold for a second here, and then we just walked, so they go from Madonna to me live on TV and I got that on video as well so those are sort of three things I wanted to do because you sort of think about what are all the things I want to do in life and there are a whole, whole bunch but those are three things I wanted was see Madonna in live in concert in Australia front and centre and have her do Holiday as the last song um, be in a book about Madonna where I get to talk about my experience seeing her or meeting her or something like that and having photos in the book got that and being gay Mardi Gras and being in a gay movie um, and also did another kind of movie too but we won't talk about that um, but um, yeah, so I just want to do a video about this. It's good. Madonna fans, this is one you should have because it's not just some bitchy biographer talking about, you know, gossip in her life. It's actually real people who actually are fans, had experiences seeing her. So it's really special, I think, and not just because I'm in it and I, and I feel special. And, you know, I'm being really gay. I don't give a fuck. Who cares? But um, feel free to share, like, comment. Um, tell me what you think. If you've got the book, what did you think of it? Um, if you haven't, you should get it. I'm going to go and read the book.